Welcome to Curricular Pro. Today we will be learning about cluster-based gateway switch routing. Instead of a flat structure, CSGR organizes nodes into clusters, each with a leader called a cluster head. This makes communication more efficient. CSGR uses the DSTV protocol and a smart algorithm called LCS to dynamically elect cluster heads. They change only when needed, like when clusters merge or nodes move out of range. Why clusters? They help manage limited bandwidth by allocating it within each cluster. And to ensure smooth communication between clusters, CSGR relies on special nodes called gateways. So, CSGR optimizes mobile network traffic by organizing nodes into clusters, managing bandwidth, and using gateways for inter-cluster communication. In our network, getting from one node A to another node B follows a specific path, AC1 G1 C2 G2, CGJ GNB. Here, each GJ represents a gateway, and each C represents a specific gateway along the path. Each node maintains two crucial tables. Number 1. The cluster member table, which lists the cluster head for each destination node. Number 2. The DV routing table, which determines the next hop towards the destination. Nodes broadcast their cluster member table periodically, updating entries based on received data from neighboring nodes, similar to how DSDV operates with sequence numbers. When a node needs to route a packet, it consults its cluster member table to find the nearest cluster head towards the destination. Then, using the DV routing table, it identifies the next hop along the path to reach that selected cluster head, and forwards the packet accordingly. The routing principle looks as follow. Look up of the cluster head of the destination node. Look up of next hop. Packet sent to the next destination cluster head. Destination cluster head delivers a packet. Working. The packet transmission begins with the source node sending the packet to its cluster head. Next, the cluster head forwards the packet to the gateway node, linking it with the next cluster head. This process repeats until the packet reaches the destination cluster head, which then transmits it to the destination node. Advantages Number 1. CGSR is a hierarchical routing scheme which enables partial coordination between nodes by electing cluster heads. Number 2. Better bandwidth utilization is possible. Number 3. It is easy to implement a priority scheduling scheme with token scheduling and gateway code scheduling. Disadvantages Number 1. Increase in path length. Number 2. Instability in the system at high mobility when the rate of change of cluster head is high. Number 3. In order to avoid gateway conflicts, more resources are required. Number 4. The power consumption at cluster head nodes is also a matter of concern because the battery draining rate at the cluster head is higher than that at a normal node. Number 5. This could lead to frequent changes in cluster head which may result in multiple path breaks. In the next video we will be learning about the fisheye state routing algorithm.